There is one thing that everyone will face at the end of their life, and that is called death. Now, this is a topic that many people don't talk about, or everyone has different theories on. Some think nothing happens. Some believe in reincarnation, and others even think they come back to haunt people as a ghost. But Christians believe that everyone will spend eternity in heaven or hell when they die. And today I want to share something crazy with you that I've stumbled upon. There have been so many people that have devoted their lives to disproving God and trying to prove that nothing happens when they die. These atheists had some chilling last words to say on their deathbed. I want you to stay with me because this might just change how you think about life, death, and what happens in the afterlife. A little bit under two years ago, I truly became a Christian and truly became saved by Jesus. But two years before that, I would have considered myself a devout atheist. I thought God, Jesus, the Bible, the whole thing was just made up. So this video hits very close to home because this could have been me. And crazy enough, I actually found out that Jesus was real and had an encounter with God when I was spending my time trying to disprove God. I was looking into books, I was researching, I was trying to prove that the whole thing was made up because I had it in my mind that this was just all fake. Whether you believe in the afterlife or not, the truth is we all face the unknown. And the truth is you are going to be dead a lot longer than you are living on this earth. So today I wanna to take you through the last words of five well-known atheists. Number four is by far the scariest. And after that, we're even gonna dive into the last words of the guy who wrote the Satanic Bible. Yeah, a devil worshiper. So let's dive in. Number one, Caesar Borgia, a powerful Italian nobleman who built his life on self-reliance and materialistic possessions. But on his deathbed, his final words were terrifying. He said, while I lived, I provided for everything but death. Now I must die and I am unprepared to die. Think about this. The most successful people that have all the accolades, all the materialistic possessions, and all the wealth are terrified when they don't have Jesus as their savior. Number two, Sir Thomas Scott. Now this name might sound familiar if you look in any history book. He was a famous atheist who served the Chancellor of England. Now he spent his whole life being a devout atheist believing that God was just made up. But listen to his last words. Until this moment, I thought there was neither God nor hell. Now I know they are real and I feel both of them and I am doomed to perdition. I wonder what he saw in his final moments that made him believe that God in hell was real. Number three, this is a name that you've all probably heard, Voltaire. Famous French writer and philosopher spent his life criticizing Christianity. This is what he said on his deathbed. I am abandoned by God and men. Then I shall die and go to hell. It's crazy. These figures who just spent their whole lives criticizing Christianity and not believing in God in final moments know without a doubt that there is a God and that hell is real. It's like on your final moments you get this different perspective that you never had and maybe they had this supernatural truth just revealed to them or it could be that God is just trying to show himself in their final moments. Number four, this is by far the most terrifying statement. David Hume, a famous renowned skeptic. These were his final words on his deathbed. I am in flames. The nurses said that this scene was out of desperation. They would not wish that kind of pain and torment on their worst enemy. He was screaming and crying all throughout the night. What would make a man who spent his whole life being an atheist question everything and cry out in torment? I wonder what he saw and I never want to know. And number five, the writer of the Satanic Bible, Antoine LaVey. On his deathbed, he uttered, what have I done? There's something very wrong here. This is all wrong. Those are terrifying words for the guy who wrote the Satanic Bible and was one of the main founders and high priests of the Satanic Church. He literally worshiped the devil. In his last words, he knew that he was wrong. And some witnesses even say that he proclaimed Jesus as Lord and he called the devil a liar. I'm not just making this video to scare you, but I'm just trying to highlight something that is a very real truth. We all face death. Whether you live to be 90 years, 100 years, or die prematurely. My father died when I was 10. He was 32 in a car accident, fully healthy, did not plan on dying the day that he did. And while this can be a scary thought, it doesn't have to be. And here's what I want to encourage you to do. Do what I did. Don't just take my word for any of this. Look into the Bible for yourself. See, cry out to God. Be honest with yourself so you can truly be honest with him. Tell him if you don't believe. Pray to him. Tell him that you want to have an encounter with him. You want to be saved, but you don't know if this is real. Help your disbelief to help your lack of faith. Jesus came to earth. He was born. He lived a perfect life. He died and rose again for you to be saved. Mankind sinned against God in the beginning of creation. And the only way that sin could be atoned against an almighty perfect God was the death of an almighty perfect God. But Jesus died 
and rose again. He was fully God and fully human, and he did it for you. And here's the other thing. He doesn't just offer salvation so you can spend eternity in heaven when you die. He also offers life to the full and truly gives a peace and purpose that truly surpasses all understanding. If you want to learn more about Jesus and what the Bible truly says that you must do to be saved, I want you to watch this video as I do a deep dive on how you can truly know that you are going to spend eternity in heaven and have a true purpose in this life that you have never experienced before. Thank you for watching.